What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I want to test out the new Steam Link app for Android on the GPD XD Plus. I got it installed here, I'll leave links in the description. As of making this video, it is in open beta on the Google Play Store and it's not available for iOS just yet. They're still waiting for Apple to approve the app for some odd reason. There are a few settings inside of the app in case you experience any latency or anything like that. There's a few things you can change, but this video is just kind of a test on the GPD XD+. In order for this to work correctly, you need to be on the same network as your gaming PC, and they do recommend using a 5 GHz Wi-Fi router. So, the GPD XD Plus does support 5 GHz. I did try the original GPD XD, and it doesn't perform as well as the GPD XD Plus because it doesn't support 5 GHz networks. Setup is really easy. You need Steam installed on the gaming PC you're going to be streaming from. Then you download the Steam Link app on the Android device you want to use. Start it up. As long as they're on the same network, it'll find that PC. It'll give you a code. Input the code on the gaming PC. And it'll connect. I'm just going to start up GTA 5. You might notice a little graph and some numbers at the bottom. I've turned this on in the Steam Link app. It will not be on unless you turn it on or activate it. This is just giving me some numbers here, what kind of network usage is going on, and my frame rate. I've tested a few other Android phones and tablets, and the only ones I can really get working well are ones that support 5 gigahertz. Now, I've tried 2.4 gigahertz. There's a lot of lag going on, especially with the sound. So what this is doing is just streaming the video from my gaming PC to my GPD XD+. Now there are other apps out there. There's Parsec, there's Moonlight. I'm sure there's a few other ones that will do this. But if Steam plays its cards right, this could be the best one to come to market. Now I've tested Moonlight. It does work very well, but I do have a couple issues here and there that I haven't noticed with this. And this is still in beta. I'm just going to skip this intro here. If you own GTA 5, you know how long sometimes it can take to load up. The main reason I wanted to test it on the GPD XD is because it's got this controller built in and it detects it as an Xbox 360 controller. It's just set up out of the box in Steam and it works fine. As for input lag, I don't really notice it. I'm sure the app is compensating for it. It's just working really well. Like I mentioned, I have tested it on some other units. I've used the PS4 controller, a GameSir G3S controller, and an Xbox One S controller. So I think this is pretty cool, especially for the situation I'm in. I have an office on the third floor, got all of my gaming stuff set up, but sometimes I'm downstairs and I feel like I want to start up a game. I'll just grab the GPD XD, start it up from there. And to exit, all you got to do is exit the game like you're shutting the game down. It'll bring us back into Steam Big Picture mode. I guess that's what you call it. Most of the non-Steam stuff that I've imported, like Big Box or Launch Box, work with the built-in controller except for Fortnite. I cannot get the controller to register inside of the game. It will launch through Steam. I could play the game if I had a keyboard connected, but I just can't get this built-in controller working. So yeah, it works really well. If you want to try it on your Android device, I'll leave a link in the description to the Google Play Store. It is in beta, so keep that in mind. As long as you have a decent router, it should work fine for you also. Really appreciate you guys watching. This was just a quick video. I wanted to get this out of the way. Been messing around with it enjoying this new app if you could hit that like button subscribe to the channel and like always thanks for watching